Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I wanted to share an email from you that I got from one of my our sisters in Christ. Um, first, she starts off saying, Please, Lord, let them know this is only you warning them. Only a minute or two video, and it's happening all over the earth right now. Many floodings, warnings. He has reserved the hail for the last days. Scriptures below. Well, yes, we've had some really bad hail storms. I've seen videos on YouTube about in the last couple years or so. But this video, which I'll put in the description box, if you want to watch it, it's just like it's in the desert in Saudi Arabia or somewhere. Uh, yeah. Saudi Arabia, Hail Lake. It really turned it into a lake. I mean, it was, or a river, however you see it. And then she put these verses here. So these will be our verses for today. Revelation 16.21, verse concepts. Not sure what that means, but, and huge hailstones about 100 pounds each, came down from heaven upon men. And men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail, because its plague was extremely severe. All right, in Joshua 10, verses 11, again it says, verse concepts. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> As they fled from before Israel while they were at the descent of Beth Haran, the Lord threw large stones from heaven on them as far as Azekah, and they died. There were more who died from the hailstones than those whom the sons of Israel killed with a sword. Wow, that's a lot of hailstones and big. Now in Ezekiel 13 verses 11 through 13. So tell those who plaster it over with whitewash that it will fall. A flooding rain will come. And you, O oh hailstones, will fall, and a violent wind will break out. Behold, when the wall has fallen, will you not be asked, Where is the plaster with which you plastered it? Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I will make a violent wind break out in my wrath. There will also be, in my anger, a flooding rain and hailstones to consume it in wrath. Job 38, 22 and 23 Have you entered the storehouses of the snow? Or have you seen the storehouses of the hail? which I have reserved for the time of distress, for the day of war and battle. Wow. So he, God was telling Job this, that he has hail stored up for a certain time. Or at least it's metaphorical saying there will be hail at a certain time. Psalm 105, 32, verse 32, verse concepts. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their land. Whoa, 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 what God can do to those who refuse to obey him. <coughs> that was me, not a scripture. Psalm 147. 
17 through 18. He casts forth his ice as fragments. Who can stand before his cold? He sends forth his word and melts them. He causes his wind to blow and the waters to flow. Isaiah 28 verse 2. And again it says verse concepts. I'll have to ask her what that means. Behold the Lord has a strong and mighty agent. As a storm of hail and tempest, a tempest of destruction. Like a storm of mighty overflowing waters, he has cast it down to the earth with his hand. First, con uh, sorry, Haggai 2.17 I smote you and every work of your hands with blasting wind, mildew, and hail. Yet you did not come back to me, declares the Lord. I guess they just didn't get it. Exodus <clears throat> Exodus 9, 18 through 33. Behold. <coughs> Excuse me. Behold, about this time tomorrow, I will send a very heavy hail, such as has not been seen in Egypt Excuse me, I didn't sleep well last night, probably fixing to go back to bed early today, <laughs> just got to do what I got to do, behold about this time tomorrow I will send a very heavy hail, such as has not been seen in Egypt from the day it was founded until now. Now, therefore, send, bring your livestock and whatever you have in the field to safety. Every man and beast that is found in the field is not brought home. When the hail comes down on them, let's see, when the hail comes down on them, will die. I think that's supposed to be they will die. And a word was left out. When the hail comes down on them, they will die. The one among the servants of Pharaoh who feared the word of the Lord made his servants and his livestock flee into the houses. And it says, read more. The source of these scriptures was https colon slash slash bible dot knowing dash jesus dot com slash topics slash hail. Okay. So I can put that in the description box also, but if you don't can't see that, then just listen to that again and write it down. Okay. And that's that's all that's all the ones she found on hail. Hail will be coming. It is one of the plagues. Not like little pebbles like we're used to and yeah there's been some people who have seen softball sized hail come down to do some damage to a car even at home if it hits right and the roofs the roofings of a house yeah there's been some of that it's uh 
Imagine being out in it and it pelting you. Oof. I wouldn't want to be. So now I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And I pray that we all be found ready to escape all these things that are to come upon the earth and to stand before the Son of Man. All right. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.